heat. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in an object and it can be measured using a thermometer. There are different types of thermometers such as clinical thermometers and laboratory thermometers. The chapter focuses on laboratory thermometers which are used to measure temperature in scientific experiments. Laboratory thermometers are made of glass and contain a liquid such as mercury or alcohol that expands when heated. The chapter also discusses the different scales used for measuring temperature such as Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin. Heat is a form of energy that flows from hotter objects to colder objects. There are three ways in which heat can be transferred – conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction is the transfer of heat through direct contact between two objects such as a metal spoon in a hot cup of tea. Convection is the transfer of heat through the movement of fluids such as air or water. Radiation is the transfer of heat through electromagnetic waves such as light or infrared radiation. The chapter explains how different materials conduct heat differently depending on their thermal conductivity. Some materials such as metals are good conductors of heat while others such as wood or plastic are poor conductors. Insulators are materials that do not conduct heat well and can be used to reduce heat transfer. The chapter also discusses some practical applications of the principles of heat such as the design of insulation materials for buildings and the use of cooling system in electronic devices. The chapter explains how heat can cause changes in the physical properties of materials such as expansion or melting. The specific heat capacity of a substance is a measure of how much energy is required to change its temperature by a certain amount. The chapter also introduces the concept of latent heat which is the energy required to change the state of a substance such as melting or vaporization. The chapter explains the difference between heat and temperature and how they are related but distinct concepts. The human body has a natural mechanism for regulating its temperature called thermoregulation. The chapter discusses some factors that can affect the body's thermoregulation such as exercise, clothing and external temperature. The chapter also explains how different animals have adapted to live in different environments with varying temperatures. Overall, the chapter aims to provide a basic understanding of the fundamental principles of heat and temperature and their practical applications in science and everyday life. Activity Aim To demonstrate that the sense of touching is not reliable for determining the temperature of an object. 
Materials required: three small containers or tubes, cold water, hot water, lukewarm water. Procedure: Take three small containers and label them as A, B, and C. Fill container A with cold water, container B with hot water, and container C with lukewarm water. Dip your left hand in container A and your right hand in container B. Leave your hands in the containers for 2 to 3 minutes. Take out your hands from the containers A and B and put them in container C. Observe that the lukewarm water feels hot to your left hand and cold to your right hand. Conclude that the sense of touch is not reliable for determining the temperature of an object. Emphasize The temperature can be measured more accurately by using a thermometer. Observations: The lukewarm water feels hot to the hand that was dipped in cold water and cold to the hand that was dipped in hot water. Conclusion: The sense of touching is not reliable for determining the temperature of an object. Our skin can be easily fooled into thinking that an object is hotter or colder than it actually is temperature can be measured more accurately by using a thermometer precautions use water at safe temperatures to avoid any burns or injuries do not use extremely hot or cold water that can cause damage to your skin use separate containers for each hand to prevent mixing of the water